Good morning, welcome to Reading Workshop with Miss Grin. So, let's read our objective first to see what we're gonna do today, okay? Echo after me. Today we will read to retell the beginning, middle, and end of a story. So, we're gonna go back to last week when we read our read aloud, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Miss Grin's gonna read this book over real quick, and then we're going to try to see if we can retell the story by what happened in the beginning, middle, and end, okay? So turn on those listening ears real quick, and let's get ready to read our book. The Three Billy Goats Gruff by Paul Galdone. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. They lived in a valley, and the name of that three billy goats was Gruff. There was very little grass in the valley, and the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to find a meadow full of grass and daisies, where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. But on the way up there, there was a bridge over a rushing river, and under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. First, the youngest Billy Goat Gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it is only I, the tiniest Billy Goat Gruff, said the Billy Goat in his very small voice. And I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. I'm too little that I am, said the billy goat. Wait till the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well then, be off with you, said the troll. A little later, the second billy goat gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it is only I, the second billy goat gruff, and I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat, and his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. Wait a little till the third billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Very, very well, be off with you, said the troll. Then, up came the third billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, went the bridge. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the big billy goat gruff, said the billy goat, and his voice was as loud as the trolls. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. So up climbed that mean, ugly troll, and the big billy goat gruff butted him with his horns and trampled him with his hard hooves. And he tossed him over the bridge into the rushing river. Then the big gilt billy goat gruff went up to the hillside to join his brothers. In the meadow, the three billy goat gruffs got so fat that they could hardly walk home. They are probably there yet. So snip, snap, snap, this tale's told out. So now, my friends, let's take a look at the anchor chart that I made for all of you. When we think of the beginning of the story, the first part of the story, that's usually when we're introducing the characters and setting. So when we think back to our story, who are the characters? Right, the billy goats. And then where was the setting? I remember from our last lesson, the setting is where the story takes place. So where does it look like our billy goats are? Right, outside. So here we have, in the beginning, we have our three billy goats and they're outside, right? 
So then, that's what happened in the beginning. We see our billy goats, we see where they are, they want to go up into the meadow, but then what happens in the middle? And the middle tells the problem in the story. So when we think back to our problem and solution activity we did a couple days ago, what was the problem? What was the problem in the story? Take a minute to think about it, and when you have an idea, shout it out to me, okay? All right, let me hear. Yes! Our problem was the mean, angry troll. He was blocking the poor billy goats from getting to the meadow to eat. So, when our, in our middle, we have our billy goats trying to cross, and then this mean troll standing in the way. And then at the end of a story, that's where we usually find the solution to the problem. And we learned a couple days back that solution is the answer to a problem. So if our problem was that this mean troll was blocking these billy goats, how did it fix or what was the solution in the end? Let's see, we can look back into the book. Hmm. What's happening on this page? What do we see on this page? Right, our third billy goat, the biggest billy goat of all, used his hooves and his antlers to push the troll into the water, right? And then once the troll was in the water, they could get by to go eat in the meadow. So that's why I have on my picture the third troll pushing our troll, or our third goat pushing our troll into the water. So was our problem solved at the end? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yes! Our billy goats got to the meadow to eat their grass and they get very, very full. So this is what I want you guys to do. I would like you to, you can listen to the book over again if you want to, and I want you to draw the beginning, middle, and end. It doesn't have to be as detailed as Miss Grant's, but try to use as many colors and details as you can, and even maybe challenge yourself and try to write a sentence for what happened in the beginning of the story the middle of the story, and the end. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Who's ready for the challenge? Awesome, guys. I can't wait to see all the pictures that you're going to send to us. Keep it up. Good work.